Nothing concentrates the mind, wrote Samuel Johnson, like the thought of an imminent hanging. Donald Trump fearing the imminent release of the Mueller report that's expected to portray his campaign as a dupe of Russia, not to mention deliver alarming new evidence of obstruction, is determined to somehow change the subject. Today, he called the Mueller investigation an attempted coup and encouraged his Justice Department to make war on it. This was a, an attempted coup. This was an attempted takedown of a president. And we beat them. What I'm most interested in is getting started. Hopefully the attorney general, he mentioned it yesterday, he's doing a great job getting started on going back to the origins of exactly where this all started. Because this was an illegal witch hunt. And what they did was treason. What they did was terrible. What they did was against our Constitution and everything we stand for. So hopefully that will happen. Well, it now appears that Attorney General William Barr is set to deliver on the president's wishes. Yesterday, Barr said he intends to review the conduct of the investigators who opened the Mueller investigation. And according to Bloomberg News, he's assembled a team to do just that. Today, in his testimony before a Senate Appropriations Subcommittee, Attorney General Barr appeared to endorse the widespread Republican and Trumpian allegation that the Trump campaign was improperly surveilled or to use the Trumpian term spied upon. Here's the attorney general using that very term. We want to make sure that uh, during an election, I, I think spying on a political campaign is a big deal. I'm not suggesting that uh, those rules were violated, but I think it's important to look at that. And I'm not just, I'm not talking about the FBI uh, necessarily, but intelligence agencies more broadly. So you're not, you're not suggesting though that spying occurred? I don't, uh, well, uh, I guess you could, I, I think there was a spying did occur. Yes, I think spying did occur. Well, let me... But the uh, question is whether it was predicated, adequately predicated. And I'm not suggesting it wasn't adequately predicated, but I'd need to explore that. Well, Barr is careful to say he's not alleging that anything improper actually took place. He even says that the spying, as he put it, could have been warranted. But Barr still used the very term that the president has deliberately thrown around to smear law enforcement so relentlessly, by the way, for the last couple of years. As The Washington Post points out, th that is a highly disputed term when it comes to what the FBI did relative to the Trump campaign in 2016. And it lends legitimacy to what at this point is essentially a Trump conspiracy theory. I'm joined now by John Brennan, the former director of the CIA under President Obama. <clears throat> director spying. Why does Trump and his cronies, including the new, the new AG, use that word? Well, I was very disappointed in what Attorney General Barr said today about spying when he was referring to the investigation that was predicated, certainly, and that the FBI was trying to understand exactly what the Russians were doing. U.S. intelligence agencies were spy against foreign adversaries so that we can understand the threat to our national security. But for the attorney general to imply or to say that there was spying domestically, he knows the language very well and he knows the terminology and he knows what it connotes, which is an extra legal yeah. activity taking place when, in fact, the FBI and CIA and others were trying to understand just what the Russians were doing. And we know now it is incontrovertible that the Russians were trying to influence the outcome of the 2016 election. Now, according to the language of this guy, Bar, I don't really like him much lately because of this kind of game he's playing here. A state trooper working at night along a state highway, and he's watching and he sees if somebody's going over 70 miles an hour. Is he spying on the cars or is he doing his job? No, that's this what, word spying is so ludicrously used here. Yeah, and he thought about that question and answer, and, and he did say there was spying. And so for he's a former attorney general as well. It's not as though he's just a new attorney general. He is steeped in the law, and he should be. And he should know the difference between a, a thorough FBI predicated investigation and spying against a foreign adversary. To use another American word, is he a toady? Uh, is he saying the kind of language that Trump wants to hear him use? Uh, well, unfortunately, I think over the past several weeks, I've been very disappointed in Attorney General Barr. I had higher expectations for him. He shaped the narrative after the Mueller report. He, in fact, uh, then also had this testimony today that I think was very carefully uh, nuanced as a way to try to support the uh, Donald Trump's uh, 
positions. So he acted more like the, a personal lawyer for Donald Trump today rather than the attorney general. Here's what I don't understand about the Trump barred strategy. If it comes out next week, as has been reported, that the Mueller report, when we get a good look at it, a decent look at it, will show alarming evidence of obstruction of justice, that the Russians did manipulate the Trump campaign. What good is it to go back and fail and say, but they shouldn't have had this investigation when it bears fruit, when it's clear it did dig up some awful stuff? Well, look what at the, the strategy. Yeah, well, look at the people who have been indicted and who yeah. have been convicted uh, in terms of what they did wrong. And so it's unclear to me what he was trying to do. I also think it was unfortunate that he arrogated to himself the determination about whether obstruction of justice did occur on the part of Donald Trump. He said it didn't. Just like that. Well, I think we have to understand more about the basis for Bob Mueller uh, not making a determination there. I think Bob Mueller is a conservative individual and uh, recognized the Department of Justice policy is not to indict a sitting president. So I think he really wanted to have the Congress or the American people make that determination about the transgressions involved. So I think anyway, in discussing the Russian probe last year, former director of national intelligence James Clapper was extremely cautious about his choice of words on the activities of law enforcement. Was the FBI spying on Trump's campaign? Uh, I, I, no, he, they were not. They were spying on a, a term I don't particularly like, but on what the Russians were doing, trying to understand were the Russians infiltrating, trying to gain access, trying to gain leverage and influence. So when the uh, FBI is trying to find out what's going on with the Russians because of all this problem with this noise we're hearing from Papadopoulos and all the rest of it about something going on over there, it's spying. And I'm just wondering... Uh, Spying seems to be a perfect word if you believe in the deep state coming against Trump. If you believe these awful people that work for the federal government, sworn to public service for their careers, all are the bad guys, then you attach a word to them, not like law enforcement, but spies. Yeah. Um in the summer of 2016, the CIA and FBI and NSA worked very closely together to try to understand as much as possible about what the Russians were doing. And those uh, agencies that have a foreign intelligence responsibility carried out their responsibilities and authorities to the best of their ability. And the FBI, which has the domestic role, was carrying out its investigation and its counterintelligence investigation. And I had many conversations with Jim Comey just to make sure that the CIA and FBI were working together, not doing anything inappropriate, but making sure that we were fulfilling our statutory and responsibilities. Well, it's hardball time. What do you think we're going to find in the Mueller report when we get the redacted version of it? Are we going to get enough to scare the hell out of this administration or what? I don't know. It's clear that Donald Trump and his cronies are quite fearful of what's it may be in there. And I don't know what uh, William Barr is going to do, redact for the various uh, reasons that he has cited. I'm hoping that as much comes out as possible. Let's make one thing clear. The only thing that Donald Trump and his campaign were cleared with by the Barr memo that was citing the Mueller memo was there was not an evidentiary basis to charge somebody with criminal conspiracy. It never said that there was no collusion or cooperation. So I think there's a fair amount of information that is there that Bob Mueller uncovered about the interaction between Trump campaign officials and the Russians. And now on the obstruction of justice issue, I think there is real questions about whether or not Donald Trump and others did obstruct justice, but that uh, uh, Bob Mueller decided that he was not going to be the one to indict a sitting president. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.